We are with Michael Riddle. Uh, where are you from? At Toronto, York University. Uh, Michael, I've been uh, involved in the debate today between mimetic of exercise and exercise as a treatment for uh, complications of obesity and chronic disease. So we know that we can normally uh, treat uh, chronic disease with medicine. We know also that uh, healthy lifestyle have also um, a lot of interest and uh, in the treatment to replace uh, drugs. But how can we reconcile both? Yeah, this is a this is a fun debate. It was a it was a challenging debate. Uh, the push recently has been to try to use agents that have typically been given to patients who have disease to now use these agents to prevent disease, and that's what I was trying to focus the debate on today. And I and I think that what we try to say that there are major limitations when, when we do that. We're, we're treating disorders and symptoms uh, with medication. We're not really getting to the root cause of the problem, which in my belief is uh, a lack of physical activity, not enough physical activity. So in the debate, I tried to make the case that uh, to restore normal physiology and to prevent disease, the, the root of the problem needs to be fixed, and that's increased physical activity, not medication, which simply treats the symptoms that the patient may, may, may develop in the, in the future. And what are the pros and the cons on each of uh, each of them? Yeah, well, we learned that uh, some of the some of the pros of medication is that the uh, adherence to, to medication can be easy. You know, it's five seconds, take a pill. Uh, it's an easy solution. Uh, we've learned that they can be very effective in some cases. Uh, for example, in in lowering blood glucose levels, lowering cholesterol levels. Uh, We're talking about statins, statins, and, uh, and, and oral hypoglycemic agents. So th there's no question that they're effective, and, and largely they're fairly safe. But some side effects, but they're kind of minor, really. But on the other hand, but some bad effects you, at long term. Perhaps, perhaps yeah. some more dangerous effects at long term. You're looking at things like potentially heart failure and complications associated with, with prolonged use with, with kidney failure and liver failure. So we know that, that all the beneficial effects of, of, of exercise, in fact, the, the, liver's, the liver's healthier, the adipose mass is healthier, there's less inflammation, pancreatic functions better, um, insulin sensitivity, the muscles, like the, all the side effects seem to be beneficial for exercise with medications. It's, a, it's not quite so, it's not so, so clean. And the counteract of uh, physical activity and exercise is that it takes time. Yes. Um, what are the other uh, pros or cons on physical activity? You know, physical activity is, is about hard work sometimes. It's about dedicating maybe 30 minutes uh, or more a day to, to being physically active. And some people just, they just don't want that time commitment. But we need to share with them that, that psychologically it actually can be very beneficial. So they'll start to enjoy it. They'll, they'll, they'll start to work with trainers. They'll start to work with certified kinesiologists. And they'll really have that whole body benefit as well as their whole self-efficacy and their whole psychology improves. So it's not an immediate fix. It needs to be a long-term investment and they'll, and they'll feel healthy and they'll feel healthy and stronger. I just talked to a gentleman who made a, a life change at the age of 70 and, and now is more physically active and his, his energy, his vigor, his self-confidence has just improved tremendously and there's really no medication that, that will mimic that in my opinion. And if we if could be fair with the medicines and drugs and if we can have the support of professional like kinesiologists and nutritionists and we can have uh, the uh, help of also the behaviorists yes, to make absolutely. these um, uh, these change in uh, behavior that would help to be more fair. Or right, we talked about that and, today. And use both yeah, in, having, in having different... Uh, having cognitive, cognitive behavior therapists, having exercise physiologists working together with physicians, really trying to set up the best type of... Uh, uh, of care model that we can think of, I think, to, to help prevent disease and, and treat disease with a, with a whole lifestyle approach. We hope we could be the future of yeah. uh, treating uh, clinical disease. Absolutely. Thank you very Thank much, you Michael. Thank you for your time.